Hi friends, I'm Vanessa. Today I'm going to teach you about something in the environment. The environment is just a fancy word for all of the plants and trees and all of the nature around us. Today we're going to learn about trees. Trees are amazing because they do so many things for us. They give us shade, some trees give us fruit and things that we can eat. They clean the air for us. And trees are beautiful. Look at this tree. Do you have a favorite tree that you like to go visit? Today's lesson is called Portrait of a Tree. For the lesson, you're going to need your printed materials, a hard surface to write on, some colored pencils, and a pencil to complete your activities. Let's start the lesson by going to your printed materials and opening up to the first page. The first page looks like this. Now go to number one, under animals. Number one says, can you think of an animal that flies, is awake at night, and makes the noise hoo hoo? Draw it below in the circle to the left of the cat. Once you finish drawing, let's move on to number two. Number two says, now look at the two animals. Surely you see differences, but can you see similarities also? Circle the three things from the list below that the two animals have in common. Once you're done with the animal section, let's go to the bottom here to plants, to number three. Number three says, can you think of a big plant that has a wooden trunk long branches and under whose shade you can sit, draw it in the circle above. Now let's move on to number four. Number four says, now look at the two plants and circle the three things from the list below that they have in common. Once you finish the animal and plant section, now you get to go outside. Before you go outside, make sure that you have all of the materials that you gathered earlier. You are going to draw a tree in this section on the front page of your notebook. Now there's a couple of lines on the page that you have to be aware of. The long horizontal line going across is the ground. So whatever you draw underneath should be whatever part of a tree is underground. And then above the horizontal line, you'll see that there are a couple of vertical dotted lines. That is going to be the outline for the trunk of your tree. So make sure that the trunk of your tree is at least that large, all right? One thing to keep in mind as you're doing this drawing is that if you were a scientist or an artist drawing this tree, you have to really, really observe. So make sure that you're looking at the tree as you're drawing it and trying to notice all of the different colors and textures and shapes of the tree. And there's one more activity that you get to do outside before coming back in and finishing your lesson. So that is on the back page and it looks like this. So in all of these little boxes, you're going to look at the details, the really, really close details of a tree. So actually for this one, I want you to imagine that you're an ant or a little creature and you get as close as you possibly can to all of those different parts of a tree. You're going to draw a leaf, root, branch, and trunk of the tree in as much detail as you can in the space that you're given. And then each of those will have a sentence to explain what that does for the tree, because each part of the tree plays a different role in helping the tree survive and thrive and grow to be really strong and provide all of those benefits that we talked about at the beginning. All right, so remember, grab your materials, go with an adult, and be very observant and have fun while you're doing this.
Have you finished drawing your tree and tree parts? Well done. Head back inside for the last part of this lesson. For the end of this lesson, you're going to need the help of an adult. Now ask the adult to get either some scissors or a box cutter to go to the front page of your notebook where you have drawn the big tree and there's the two circles and to cut out along the dotted lines of only the two circles, not the big solid vertical line, just the dotted lines. And then you can open those two tabs and you'll see the surprise. Thank you for joining me on this lesson. And once you're done, why not go outside and explore some more trees? <laughs>